Blood is not a topic of everyday discussion. Most persons take for granted the cells pumping through our bodies, helping to keep us alive. However, in Jamaica, ambassadors for local corporation LASCO came together recently to show up more units of this life-saving fluid. More from Leslie and Sherwood. here with the Lasco 2016 Police Officer of the Year, Ava Lindo, at her blood drive for 2016, A Drop of Love. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm, I'm very well. I am, I'm happy, extra happy today. The truth of the matter is I am AB negative, which is rare, most, the most rare of all the blood types. And I've always wondered what if something should happen where would I get blood from? And one of the things that we learn is that you should not procrastinate. So I've never thought about doing this before, but given the platform as an ambassador and wanting to give back to Jamaica at a larger extent, then the idea came about. And as also, as brand JCF, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and of course for LASCO, I thought that this initiative could have been of this grand nature. We're here at the Police Officers Club in Kingston, but it's not only here that the blood is being donated. How far does this product span and what is your hope? How much blood are you hoping to gain? All right, when we had meetings, because again, we said that it's an LASCO Ambassadors Initiative because it was extended to nurse and to principal as well. And when we came together, we figured, okay, what would be a best number? And nurse of the year, who would have been in, and she has been working for so long and know what is the expected amount, we figured that 500 units would have been a good target. Hopefully, we can meet the target at this location, but if not, there is the Maypen Hospital, the Mandeville Hospital, the Cornell Regional Hospital, St. Anne's Bay and Port Antonio Hospitals that have centers that are open. What does one unit, because the goal is 500, what does one unit of blood really mean to either of you on say a daily basis when you're on the wards making your rounds? Well, I'm a neonatal nurse, I specialize in neonatology and one unit of blood for me is like saving my entire nursery because a baby will need like say 40 or 60 cc's and one bag is 500. So if I get one unit of blood that is for my entire nurse so that 60 babies I'm saving right there so it means a lot. For an adult though, the one unit, it can also be broken down into different products and it can save three different lives. So when you give one unit of blood, that's three homes we are keeping together. Also, I'm a nursing student, but I'm also a registered midwife. And for some persons, some women, they will come in in labor and they will have what we call postpartum hemorrhage, where they will lose a lot of blood. This is defined as having lost blood over 500 mils for persons who have de delivered vaginally and for persons who have had caesarean section it's a thousand mils so to give one unit it definitely can save a life can you reiterate why they need to come and give blood for the next generation well, you know what? I'm not only thinking about the next generation. I'm actually thinking about the present because, again, too, sometimes you know we overemphasize what is to come and then we totally forget what already exists. So right now, I'm talking about what's happening now because that's now when we're gonna have that after effect, the domino effect of what's gonna happen in the future. So I'm saying, you know, if the blood bank is having shortages now, let's deal with the now. And then when that time comes, our kids will look back and say, you know, our parents did this. My teacher did this, my nurse did this, the police did this, why shouldn't I do this too? So it's their form of giving back a nation building. So whatever we do now, I know the impact will be greater on the next generation. We are ambassadors and we just say, as our slogan says, be an ambassador, save a life. We just want, we just want to touch one life at a time. blood save a life. That was the theme of the A Drop of Love blood drive here in Kingston, Jamaica at the Police Officers Club. And I'm sure the persons who came out and donated are thinking not about only Jamaica's present but their future. I'm Leslie for Scene Caribbean Beats.